All right, guys. So I'm out on a project. We bid this last spring. Uh, it was bid for warm weather and they finally got around to doing it. This is for a local municipality and they purchased this building from someone who had done a bunch of unpermitted work. If he would have pulled the permits, uh, it would have been fine, but he didn't go the right routes. Either way, they purchased all the buildings that he owned in town from him and have sold them off to other individuals. So we came in, Alexis should have some pictures of what happened or what was here. But essentially, there was wall, and it went to about here, came across the front, same on the other side, and then there was a wall in the middle, two openings, like a, you know, like garage doors. And then there was six stormwater <coughs> manholes, and they were roughly 10 to 12 feet deep, six of them that they didn't even know that at least two of them existed so i found two more and we did we pulled them out and originally we thought about so i had quoted it for three the fourth one we were gonna pop the top off of and backfill it but that's not how it went because we found two more and they want to be able to run uh potentially run power underneath through here and whatever else needs to get trenched in so uh made an executive decision because the first three went pretty good that we just rip them all out and they're all ripped out they're piled up here and then you can see that there's a big pile of uh, debris over there that's that's pretty much all from these manholes and there was another retaining wall where that pile is that ran and looped around he was building another retaining wall where the excavator is sitting but he only got to the point of putting the footings in so we ripped the footings out ripped the retaining wall and the footings out there we, we've ripped uh, the footings out of all this and then the walls that were here uh, the footings ended up being get you so you're not in the sun the footings ended up being like three feet three feet by at least two feet big like poured block like he poured them uh, so they were massive they had rebar in them they were a real pain to get out uh, but we got those removed so in reality this project did end up being quite a bit more than what I thought but it was a good chance to get our foot in the door with this municipality and get our feet wet with a smaller commercial project and it went well it's went well um, here it's a Saturday it I've been here all week we've been fighting uh, frost this was the coldest week so far this winter we had like negative 10 degree temps the week before was you know down by zero so we had at least a foot of frost that i've been fighting through most of this and now this coming week it's going to be 30 plus degrees so it's going to be a nice nice week which is fine because i have some grading that needs to be finished up here and that's what that'll entail but either way we came we're cleaning it up should have it buttoned up about midweek this coming week but i figured i'd come today get some of this debris hauled out of here get the rest of these manholes and stuff water structures smashed up so that they can get loaded out and then once that's done there's a little bit of block left to rip where you see this pink foam up to the wall there's a little bit of block in the ground there that i gotta rip out the footing they're gonna allow to leave and I actually took more footing than uh, what we were figuring just because I could. But there is a, the, the sewer for this building, the guy ran the footing right on top of the sewer. We don't know the depth of the sewer or anything, so we're not gonna mess with it too much because we don't need to punch a hole through the sewer. Uh, along with all these uh, manholes and stuff, he had pipes all over the place. There must've been four or five runs of pipe there's pipe underneath that sidewalk that he put in that they didn't uh, permit. Like he, they didn't know that he like put it in and there's like three or four different lines that he's got running underneath that sidewalk that are not necessarily supposed to exist. And so that's something that they are gonna have to potentially look at in the spring because it sounds like there might've been another septic line 
or sewer line out of this building besides this one that's over here. So there might be another one under that sidewalk that unfortunately got disconnected doing all this. Uh, so that's where we're at. Uh, all the materials been going to all the materials been going to a friend's. Uh, well, the gravel pit that you see me working out of quite a bit. He's got a pile of uh, like concrete rubble and blacktop rubble. Uh, down the road we would like to crush it but that's where the materials going and we're just kind of building that pile up so that at some point hopefully there's enough to make it worth uh, crushing it or hiring someone in to crush it or purchasing a crusher to crush it uh, so yeah next week this will get graded out we're gonna start here and then we're gonna tie in to slope down to the sidewalk and it'll look nice. This isn't going to be the final project or like the final phase of what's going on here. They might end up putting, who knows, like a porch back here, like a patio. Uh, it sounds like there might be a restaurant going in here. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen, but so either way, this is more so get everything torn out and then temp like do a temporary grade on it. So it's just going to be a rough grade just so that, uh, sorry about the sun, just so that there's something here you know to start with and then the engineers will come out and they're gonna take uh they're gonna use their uh gps their satellite gps deal and they're gonna map it out and then they'll build off of that but i did also mention to uh the city admin that we're working with there's a lot of stuff buried here this was kind of, he just got filled dirt from wherever he could, and it didn't matter if it was clean or not, so there's a bunch of, you know, block and whatever else, besides what we have dug out of here that we were uh, contracted to dig out, so they might have to do a soil correction depending on what goes back here. So we'll see what happens with that, but at this point, uh, it's a heck of a lot different looking than what it was, and hopefully... If they do do something else, we get hired to do that. So that's where we're at with this. And we'll see what Alexis uh, does for the movie magic and all that. Uh, I have been doing some work in the shop. We're working on a hydraulic power unit for running like the screener and stuff in that pit that I was talking about. So we have been in the shop working. and But I've been focusing on this this week, so... It's good. It was one of them deals that just kind of popped up when it was a good time to have it pop up because who doesn't like having money uh, in a time when there's not a lot of money, right? So, it's the end of the day. It's Saturday, so... I didn't really get too much done. I got one load hauled out. And then, as you can see, I crushed up all the uh, structures that were sitting up by the building, so it's all ready to get loaded out on the truck come Monday. I'm hoping three or so loads, three or so more loads and I'll have it hauled out of here. Got that scrap pile over there, I gotta pick up two. But, uh, so we made some progress, just not a whole lot. Uh, the machine took forever to warm up today and it was throwing a code, so I had to stop the house on my way back and get the code reader, all that good stuff. But it must have just been because of the cold because it didn't do it now and I checked it and it didn't have any active codes. So either way, finish crushing this up and then it can get loaded out on Monday. And I have a little bit more block up by the building that gotta get ripped out, but that won't take very long. And I should run up here at some point and fuel the excavator and stuff. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow or something. But otherwise, yeah, we're doing, uh, got her all, got her all figured out. 